everyone, today's video is sponsored by Imagine AI and we're going to be taking a hands-on look at how you can quickly batch edit your photos and take a look at the new features that were introduced since I last made a video about this. Imagine AI is an AI-powered photo editing program for Lightroom Classic and I found this is the fastest way to edit thousands of images while getting good and consistent results. This is a huge time saver if you're a wedding photographer, for example, or a photographer who goes through large batches of images regularly. Using this software isn't just limited to weddings either. You can use this to batch edit your portrait sessions, event photography, sports, travel photos, or any kind of photo shoot. So I have two sets of photos, one from Yosemite and another from Japan to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how it all works and you can see the results in real time. So let's start off with the photos I took during the winter in Yosemite. So here's my set of photos. We have lots of different lighting scenarios in this set from cloudy and snowy images to warm sunny photos. We even have some golden hour shots as well. So a really good mixture to be able to test this out. So a feature that I have been waiting for since I started using Imagine and I'm so excited is finally here is the light personal AI profile where you can use Lightroom presets to edit your photos. Before, you had to choose from a pre-made profile or you had to input about 3,000 of your pre-edited images so Imagine can learn and create a personal profile for you with your editing preferences. Now, if you have any of my Lightroom presets or your own presets that you like to use, you can upload it to Imagine and use it for editing. So here we are in Imagine AI. I'm going to go over here and select AI profiles and then select create your own profile. And I'm gonna select light personal AI profiles. So this is where you can use your Lightroom presets to edit with. And I wanna edit my set of Yosemite photos with my Amalfi Lightroom preset pack. I use that to edit so many of my photos. So I've named the profile and now I'm going to select it. Next, you have the option to further tweak your editing profile. So you can choose the kind of exposure you like, the white balance and the tint. So I personally wanna go a little bit darker for my edits here. And I want my temperature to be pretty cool because the Malfi is a very warm preset and we're editing like moody, snowy photos. So I want them to be quite cool. And for the tint, I'm just gonna keep it on neutral and I'll select build profile. Now let's edit our photos. I've started by importing all my images into a Lightroom Classic catalog. I've imported only my culled photos because that's my usual workflow. But if you call in Lightroom, you can give your selected photos a rating and then Imagine will only edit those photos. Another option is you can call your photos in Imagine as well you have options for grouping criteria so you can choose the best photo out of a set to not give your client repetitive images as well as a choice on how to label your culled photos so i'm going to close my lightroom catalog and select it in imagine and then i'm going to give it a name so yosemite trip i have my ai profile selected amalfi the one we just created and i also want it to crop and straighten my images now let's press upload. By the way, don't forget to use the link in my description to get started with 1,500 free edits in Imagine AI. This catalog is about 80 images in size, but I have been editing weddings with this since I first started using Imagine about a year or so ago. I usually put through anywhere between 700 to 1,000 photos when I'm editing a session. Once the photos are uploaded, it'll take a little bit of time for your photos to be edited. It's going to be really quick for these 80 photos, but again, when I'm editing a wedding of a about a thousand photos, I usually only have to wait about 10 minutes, which is amazing. When I edit those 1000 images manually in Lightroom, where you have to go through each photo one by one, it can easily take me hours. So our edits are ready. I'm gonna select download and open it up in Lightroom. And Imagine has now applied my Amalfi preset to all the photos and individually tweaked the white balance and exposure of each of the images for me to make the whole set consistent. I'll also click through and show you some before and afters. As you can see here, in the develop module, I still have access to all the sliders and can make any tweaks that I need. So this is something that I really love about editing with Imagine. They're not just sending you the final edited JPEGs with the preset baked in. So while this can save you so much time editing batches of photos, it still has that personal touch. It's not like you get the catalog back and send it off to the client. You can still add that level of care to your work by checking over it and tweaking the rules if there's something you don't quite like. Let's try that again, but this time I wanna show you what it's like when I manually edit a batch of photos in Lightroom. So here I have photos I took while I was in Japan. And again, I chose photos with heaps of different lighting scenarios. We have these really warm golden hour photos. We have these kind of neutral photos in the city lights. 
We also have these really dark blue hour photos and also some images taken in tungsten light as well. I feel like this set of photos really reflects what it would be like to edit a wedding too, as you usually have such a mixture of photos from indoors to outdoors, from morning and right into the night. So if you do want to see me editing a wedding with Imagine AI, I'll leave my first tutorial about them linked in the description. So I'm going to use my Earthy 3 Lightroom preset to edit this whole set of photos. So I'm going to apply the preset as is to this first image and then I'm going to go ahead and sync it to the rest of the photos. When we scroll through this edited bunch of photos where I just applied the preset, you can see that everything is still pretty uneven. This photo of Dan is pretty underexposed. These photos of me are really cold, so I would still have to go through one by one and edit the white balance to fix this photo, for example, and the exposure as well for each image. So let's go and upload this catalog to Imagine instead. So I'm gonna start by creating my own profile and I'm gonna select the exact same Earthy 3 Lightroom preset and wait for my edits to be finished. Now that I scroll through, you can see that we have the same style with my preset, but all the lighting and white balance matches across each photo and it looks uniform. And while I talk, I'm just gonna click through and show you some before and afters. Keep in mind, Imagine also did the cropping and straightening of any of my crooked images too, which there are a few. <laughs> so I've been super happy with the results from Imagine AI and I really love the addition of being able to use your own Lightroom presets as it makes the whole process so much faster and easier. If you are using Imagine AI to batch edit your photos, you likely have have clients you're editing the photos for. Something you Imagine have introduced are their cloud backups, which works in the background while you cull and edit so it doesn't disrupt your workflow. The general rule of thumb when it comes to keeping your file safe is the 3 two, one method where you have one primary copy that you use to edit and two backups with one of them being off-site. So what I normally do is I have an SSD which I edit from, a backup on my NAS system and then a cloud backup. So it's great to have that extra security for your photos in case something goes wrong with your physical copies. So according to Imagine AI, the backups of your photos they create are high quality files with the original resolution and metadata. They take less time to upload thanks to a four to one reduction in raw image size. And by optimizing your photos, you'll save four times the cost on storage space. And then if you do opt in for their cloud backup service, Imagine automatically takes care of your project backups as you work. And you might have been seeing that happen in the background while I've been editing my photos. So if you want to try out Imagine AI, please make sure to use the link in my description. And I really hope my video today could give you more of an idea of how it works and how this could fit into your workflow. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.